Hey YouTube, just wanted to bring you this quick video. Um, uh, these guys, are, I don't know what they think precisely. I just found them, and they're and they're pretty funny and they're pretty interesting, and I like their work. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this video because it kind of ties into my work. I mean, it's well proven that, that chemtrails are sprayed to deflect solar radiation. I mean, go look at the geoengineering patents. I'm getting pretty tired of this. It's not to hide that stupid planet x full of reptilians all right you people gotta start you know watching so much youtube and getting your physics books man come on um anyway just i want you to just check this out because this is some crazy stuff minimal solar maximum that is double peaked oh wait first of all we also had a cme um i forget when now because it's like two in the morning and i'm really tired and I'm going to have to do another data video when they start spraying the hell out of us tomorrow or the next day, whenever the flare was. So these guys, the channel is Thor News. I'm going to go ahead and claim fair use just in case they copyright me. They don't like me taking their stuff, but I'm giving you guys credit for it. So I'm trying to work together with you all here. So let's go ahead and continue We're this. watching the heavens for signs. Because it's what we like to do. It's been a very active, very strange solar maximum. Yesterday when I was driving home, I had to get out of my Look car and that. stop and videotape the sun because it looks so unusually large. Now I know the sun is massive, but it looks more massive than usual. It's huge. And then I get home and check out NASA's cameras and it's like one of the biggest chrono mass ejections I've seen in a long, long time. Was now is he kind of like inadvertently admitting that he saw the chemtrail and he thinks that no never mind i'm not gonna put words in his mouth Funny, let's the keep going that be? i've been saying that this is a very low solar maximum something unexpected is happening on the sun 2013 is supposed to be the year of solar max the peak of the 11 year sunspot now cycle. i don't believe Yet, a word nasa says and i'm going to show you why at the end of this relatively low sunspot numbers are well below their values in 2011 and strong solar flares have been infrequent for many months they start out by saying that this solar cycle was low. Solar activity is lower than expected. This was going to be a very calm, a minimal solar maximum. Minimal solar maximum. I've been quietly disagreeing to myself. Thor Me too. NASA was even saying on space.com, the sun's peak of solar activity this year will be the quietest seen in at least 100 years. The sun's 2013 solar storm peak expected to hit century low. One dude from NASA now wait a minute, if that's true, let's go look at what i got here about all these articles. Let's skip down. Super event warned near is weather chaos pounds planet. These are just some news articles I took pictures of. This one's from Sky News on Sunday, August 5th. More massive solar storms. Don't know where this one's from. Super solar storm. Newt Gingrich warns of vulnerable U.S. power grid. We could be without power for months or even years. Now look at all these. I mean, it's subtle warnings, I'm telling you. I mean, this I saw an article about the U.N. bracing for space weather. Um, who else? Oh, it was in Forbes. Forbes magazine, I think. One of them big money magazines was wa uh, warning about... Sun grazing comets triggers for Armageddon. So go ahead and Google that and see if you can get the article. And that's exactly what I think Ison will do. I think it'll go around the sun and trigger one of them massive X class flares that just. It, it's. It, I don't know. Let's just finish with this. Let's focus back in on this. Now, this is funny. Hold on. Let me go get my photo stream back. Right. He goes as far as saying that the sun could not destroy Earth, which is fucking hilarious. And then the Geico lizard backed him up. In fact, alright, and that's about all I'm going to steal from them because if you don't think the sun can destroy Earth, check these out. This is a just a little picture of the scale. As you can see, Earth is way down there. Now, look at that little pea compared to a pumpkin, and that's being generous. And look at all that 
raw nuclear energy full of X waves and X rays and alpha, beta, gamma, and proton. It's just horrible, man. You, you don't even know how much energy that is. I couldn't even fathom a guess of how many joules. Just look at that. If that was facing Earth, man, and we took the direct hit of this, you're telling me that can't wipe out the majority of Earth? I'm not going to say it's going to fry us instantaneously, but I'm saying it can't blow us up or anything, but it can sure it can sure wipe out a lot of life on Earth. Believe that. Don't play no games, man. They're, a friggin' nuclear explosion can um, kill how many million, hundreds of millions of people? And that's like a hundred million nukes going off on Earth's magnetosphere. So just, it's going to be horrible, man. You better hope that this electromagnetic Armageddon doesn't happen because if the satellite or the electric, chronic, electric grid goes down then there's going to be a lot of people out in the streets and like we saw Sarah Palin warning about them bullets I think they know so um you're correct we have been in a minimal maximum I don't know if I want to take any more of their bro. stuff class see if they got yeah, anything good US. Oh, there's been a lot of activity, a lot of freakish activity, dark explosion, all the activity on the non-Earth facing side, the ones that turns away from our planet, then it goes nuts. A few sunspots or even solar spot flares X and M class, but in overall activity, sometimes downright WTF, did the sun just do this? And filaments feeling off, and filaments peeling off, and uh, changes rapid growths on the sun, things moving from one place to another. US. Or activity itself on the sun has been very high. There's been a lot of filaments popping off, bubbles in the sun, things moving around. There's been a lot of activity, but that's what they've been saying, that we've been in a minimal maximum. And then NASA changed the tune to, it's a double peak solar maximum. Solar max could be double peaked. The quiet has led some observers to wonder if forecasters missed the mark. Solar physicist Dean Pesnell of the Goddard Space Flight Center has a different And why do you think they this monitor this thing 24-7, 365 from multiple angles if it can't do peaked. nothing better? Come on, man. Double peaked. I mean, which is it? Is it a slow solar maximum? Is it a minimal solar maximum? Is it a strange solar maximum? Or is it a strange double peak solar maximum has minimal spots of maximum activity? I mean, anytime you see data like this, that's always weird. And it's always got a smiley face in it. They may say it's a minimal double peaked solar max, but I say don't water down my world with words and generalizations, man. Just because you're going to tell me what a cloud is doesn't mean cloud is less cool as a cloud cloud or whatever. Reality, however, is more complicated. <laughs> Thorobides. <laughs> We're watching the heavens for signs, because it's what we like to do. And this on top of the news that giant comet could hit Mars, causing a 1 billion megaton explosion. Crazy. These are a crazy time. You got the Pope stepping down. You got pan stars and lemons in the horizon. You got Comet Iceland, the biggest comet the world's ever seen, coming up soon. There's some crazy shit. So just, oh. just keep a watch. Things are stranger than ever. I watch the sun because if you want to know what's going on in the rest of the universe, it is the number one source of instant information. The sun is totally free. So I stay tuned. Alright, that's enough of that. Anyway, like you heard him saying, the Pope's stepping down, we got a huge comet coming in. I'm not sure what these guys believe in, but I was an atheist until I started seeing all this stuff, and I sure believe the Bible now, people. And now's a very good time to start. It's just a good, well, it's just a recommendation, of course. But, you know, I can't investigate everything. I'm trying to link all the sun and chemtrail activity and investigate all the earthquakes, sinkholes, bird deaths, and all that. Come on, man, just, it, it all adds up. And it really does, and there's some scary stuff out there. And it's scary if you don't have the comfort of Jesus, honestly. I would have probably... I was going to take off to Costa Rica or something. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, just... I think maybe that's why they're preparing for the economy to collapse, because if one of these flares wipes out the power grid, that's the perfect excuse to crash the rest of the um, economic system, even if it's only in the U.S. I mean, the... You have no idea how much damage and devastation it would cause. I mean, who knows how long it'll be down. I've seen them estimate years. And people are just too dumb to 
function like that. There's no polite way to put it. They don't know what to do. And that's why I'm trying to help spread this information so you can go get prepared. Whether this happens or not, it's better to have, you know, some supplies and a plan and, you know, at least have something. And it's not like I worry about it every day. I try and bring news on it, but it doesn't dictate my life because I know there's a bunch of stuff that has to happen before doomsday or whatever. So you know what? You gotta live your life and you also gotta pay attention. You can't just ignore this either. There's no way in hell you can ignore this any longer. There's just too many monster quakes. There's too many sinkholes. Our planet is getting shredded and there's something bad happening. You gotta wake up and get that. So again, in closing, if you guys want to check these guys out, they're uh, Channel Store News. They're pretty interesting. I'm going to go ahead and check them out. Maybe send them this video. And hopefully we can start piecing together all these government lies. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope I enjoyed their work. So all the credit goes to them, and I'm not trying to steal your guys' thunder, so peace.